Hello, what's up YouTube? I got another collector's review for you. Today we're going to do the Black Box Morpher from Power Rangers Samurai. I already did the Toy Spin Sword, so I might as well do um, the accessories that uh, go with it. So first off, we have the Black Box Morpher itself. Um, very detailed to the show. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing too spectacular. Um, I guess it uh, fits in your hand okay. I've, uh, I've got average size hands, I suppose. Um, Let's go ahead and flip it on. Um, now it's got uh, it's got a few different sounds. It's got about four or five different sounds. So you press this down. So it's got about three or four different sounds, uh, including the sound when you uh, switch it on, obviously. Um, the box, obviously, in the back uh, comes with this, the black box morpher, and it also comes with the. Uh, hidden disc belt buckle that all of the uh, the rangers slash shinkengers wear. Now, inside of the hidden disc buckle, it comes with two of the power discs that come with the black box morpher, and they're from the show Power Ranger Samurai and Shinkenger. Now, it comes with a red one and a gold one. Um, I do believe this hidden disc, it only holds two at a time, so you put more than two in here and it's not really gonna, not really gonna close properly. Um, but it does go, it does fit on in pretty much any belt buckle. It is just a toy prop, so, um, it's not exactly, uh, to scale, I'm sure. Um, but it's close enough. Um, got a great paint job. It's about four inches long, uh, pretty much all around, about, about four inches all around. Uh, the black box morpher itself, however, um, it is four inches long and two and a half inches wide. Um, it represents pretty much all the basic functions from the show. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a. Uh, we'll go ahead and take the gold power disc out of here. Lift this up. They snap in there relatively easily. Sometimes you have to be a little forceful. Close it and uh, obviously press the button down it uh, appropriates the uh, the sounds and spins the disc that's inside now this could be a lot better for one um, I do believe there's should be a light right here uh, when they press the button down and uh, change into uh, Super Samurai mode. There's supposed to be a, a, a flashing bluish green light. No idea why um, the toy doesn't have that. Maybe they just decided to get cheap and not add a uh, any kind of lights or anything. But at least the sound effects and the overall presentation um, is there, and uh, it's great for collectors. It looks great on your shelf. Um, let me go ahead and uh, do one more thing here. Let me show you. Here's the spin sword. I already did the review on the spin sword. Now this is actually a an, an accessory. It, it attaches right here. Just click it on like that. And it represents pretty much what it would look like on the show. Obviously the spin sword isn't to scale at all, uh, so it looks kind of silly. Um, it's just sitting there. It looks really bulky. Um, however, it, you can stand it up on its end and it'll display rather, relatively nicely on a shelf or something. Um, but yeah, again, you get the gist. Uh, it's just an overall, you know, collector's piece. Um, I guess it's okay for cosplay and obviously for kids because it's more to scale size for kids. But uh, being a Power Ranger Super Sentai fan, if you get the spin sword, you might as well get the black box accessory. Um, because, yeah, it may not look uh, to scale, it looks a little funny. But, you know, it's obviously great collectors and conversation pieces. Um, it doesn't uh, really add any uh, sounds to the spin sword already come with the spin sword. It's basically all the sounds just come from the function of the black box morpher. Um, but until next time, guys, I'm the Swordsman, and later.